All right, guys, you're looking at the thumbnail. You're looking at the title of the video. Y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Guys, uh, there's been a lot of drama happening in the space. There's been actors that come in for better or for worse, but the ones that are the worst need to have a story told about them. Is Kevin Samuels the Antichrist now because he's challenging how it exists today? Let's watch the video. Without further ado. If you think Christianity's for the birds, that's cool. Sit back, relax, enjoy, get some popcorn, but really don't need to hear from you. We're trying to move the needle forward. And in order to do that, there's going to be some breakage. Uh, how many men in here go to church? How many guys still attend church? If you, if you attend church, put a one in the chat room. I will say this, that I know for a fact that there are more men who have left the church than ever. The church uh, today is almost void of male okay. leadership and mm -hmm. presence, which is which is really crazy, considering when I was a boy, there was men everywhere. And one of the major reasons you hear for why men have left the church is because it's become uh, a, a place of just straight up rank feminism. Our pastor, asked all the single men to stand up. And he had, we had three services, okay? He said, all the single men stand up. And it was about 50 or 70 guys that stood up, right? And then he, and he said, okay, now I want all the single women to stand up. And when I tell you, <laughs> black women, Christian feminists, uh. black Christian men tell me story after story after story after story about similar encounters they've had with black femi black Christian feminists. Mm. I don't know any upstanding Christian black brother that believes black Christian feminists are the good ones. Not a, not a single one. I don't care how good you look in that dress on Sunday. I don't care how that dress nips at your waist and them hips do this, and you looking there, you looking good and smelling good, and the, I don't. It is, it is my, it is mind boggling, and it's so, it is so tearing for men to look at women in church and know that satanic, demonic. Feminist thoughts are running through your head in this sacred place mm. that you can look at that very same Bible and hear the very same message and twist it in such a way that they, they ain't got nothing to do with God. That's got right. everything to do with the world and feminism right. and that feminism has crept its way into the church where you are supposed to be on guard for that kind of stuff it's to the point to where you're actually preaching it to the men. What you telling your sons? Shout out to the young lady that I just did a reaction to not too long ago, specific to her leveraging scripture and doctrine to manipulate young men into dating her with not one, not two, not three, but four children. Go take a look on the channel. It's a couple of videos back. Let's keep going. There we go. They turn around and blame it on the Lord. Hey, Keisha, why aren't you married? Well, God ain't sent the right man for me yet. You know what? But I'm going to keep my head down and I'm going to keep praying. And the Lord is going to make a way and da 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 da. Faith and that ain't how works. God works. Mm. I want to draw a line in the sand. My name gets brought up so much when it comes to Kevin Samuels because I did a video three years ago 
Because I had these standards just like video. most of you that were way up here because I had all these experiences that created an appetite. It created a false standard in my life of what I thought I deserved or what I thought I needed. But yet it was a false standard because none of them were men of God. None of them were, were Carrie Pope. They're in, the, they're in the prime of their life. They got men shooting their shot left and right. I had a type. Uh, let's be real. Girl. I had type. My type was businessman. My type was CEO. My type was getting it done. My type was literally go getter. Six and seven figure men running companies. Those are the only kind of men I was in relationships with. Even a woman who's a five, an average looking woman with social media, you got guys shooting shots on online and you got you're bouncing between this offer and that offer, and you're just having a good time. Mr. Gorgeous, and he's got the six pack, and he's six four, and he's chocolate. Pay and then you date the Mr. Baller, and he got money and you in the bins and you whipping and you flying and you drinking and dinner and whining and dining and at the end of the day now you created an appetite for yourself or you better yet maybe you haven't even experienced it for yourself like me but you want it a lot of pay attention to that you created the appetite you created the appetite which you then take into your future state reality and that's when a lot of them get it messed up at let's keep it going of these uh, there's a segment of women just like there's a segment of men who are delusional who have too high of expectations but is that all women no it's not all women I, I can't handle female clients. I was a matchmaker that matched females and I had a few male clients, but predominantly I was matching women. And listen, what I, it was such a valuable lesson for me because what I learned is that the average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. You know what the real core question is? Why are so many attractive black Christian women unmarried? That's the question that bothered me the most, that, that, that would not nag at me for so long. I go into church and see so many straight up fine sisters, fine, fit, in shape, just cold, waist, waist, waist. I'm like, God, dog, this, and single as Frankenstein. I'm like, why are all y'all, this is like manna. Just, just honey after honey after honey. Potter's House to Friendship West to Oakland Bible Fellowship. Didn't matter. We just went all around. Got, just Lord have mercy. Oh, whoops, Kiwi, Z Fire, and whatever Jess G. Rose did. Just like, golly. Got the little church hat on, the little pencil skirt in the heels. Hey, how you doing? Got the Bible and it's smelling good. And you're like, God. And you go out on one date with them and you hear this, I am woman, hear me roar. The number's <laughs> too big to ignore. <laughs> oh, I see. Right. You want a traditional man, but you want to be a modern woman. Right. Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to go out and do what the, you know, God's people did against the Philistines and everything else, but you want to live life right along. Okay, I get it. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. But I'm going to say something. I'm going to say it real loud and clear. God ain't in it. God's not in it. Pay attention. If you don't think church is a business, you are tripping. For over 20 years, uh -oh. you've been a part of getting <laughs> Creflo Dollar Ministries to distant lands to share the truth of the gospel. Watch the transition. Through the word of God. I was just set free today. Yeah. Every gift you've given, every sacrifice you've made is eternally connected to change in the lives of people. Our current ministry plane is no longer usable. We need your help. And I ask all of our partners globally to get on board with Project G650. We are believing for 200,000 people to give contributions of 300 US dollars or more to make this a reality. You gotta be careful who you listen to. The wicked are winning. There is a spiritual battle warring, warring 
all around us. Is it that bad? God, I thank you. I thank you, God, for who I'm sent for. You know, you heard you was going to hell quite often. All right. But long about the mid 80s, early 90s, something happened in the church. It was almost a reformation. Prosperity preaching. The same Jesus that died so that we can be free from sin, he also died so we can be free from lack. Like God was just pulling on me, if, if that makes sense, guys. I, it was almost like, like God just kept pulling on me and pulling on me and like, like, like you gotta say something, you gotta say something. And it's like, we start to feel, I, for me, I feel like what God reminds me of is who I am, that I have a responsibility. If you don't think church is a business, you are tripping. Big trip. We have certification coming through for spring, February, first week of February. For all of you who have already been certified, you're going to get an email. We have a new leadership certification that's coming for you to be part of the newer platform, to take on students and clients through our platform. We have a lot we're working on. Is it that bad? But I'm going to say something. I'm going to say it real loud and clear. God ain't in it. God's not in it. Now she's a pastor because I am a pastor. You know, growing up in the Baptist church or even church of God in Christ, they were not timid about going back to the Old Testament. Fire and brimstone, revelations. I would tell you that going into church these days, it's pretty much like Jesus, God is, is cosmic Santa Claus there to grant you your wishes as long as you keep the faith yep and men are just not as easily swayed why don't believe because that the modern church has forgot about men women are so desperate for the truth they're looking at this so-called knowledge Ooh, jesus man i'm sensing something boy you know heaven rejoices every time we release a little of that glory that's in us that glory come out there and say, look at that, look at that. Them, them my babies there, boy, look at that, look at that. They know what they got. You got to be careful who you listen to. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, a spiritual covenant. Pay attention. You, know, you cannot do this by your own understanding, your own intelligence, no. your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, uh, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. And it's because it's really only by God's grace that we're even able to be here on this video, <laughs> oh holding God. hands. Oh How y'all letting anybody gauge your attractiveness or tell you that you're average at best in terms of how attractive you are as a woman you don't even know if they really like women like that if they, you know if they're attracted to any woman i'm not even being funny i'm just being real first let me say that only jesus christ can save derek okay only jesus can save him he has already done that and now derek is laying in the bed that he made He said, I release the gifts that both of you have. For the Lord said, I will take the writing that I give to you from heaven and I will put it in front of millions. For this generation shall know through the writing of what you write that the God that you serve is able to change lives. Uh, somebody say, ah. Uh. Florida, Florida, Florida. Ah. Flor uh. who's, who's connected to that state? I grew up near Florida. You grew up near Florida? Yes, sir. Where, where exactly did you grow up? It was in Alabama, about maybe 45 minutes from Florida. Okay, but no, no, I'm seeing the state. For the Lord says, the Lord said, as I give rest to my people, huh? It's been, you've been married how long now? Two years. 
three years. See, romantic love and, it, and agape love have been completely screwed up in the church. The church was never about romantic love. It was always about agape. You didn't talk about love and arranged marriages. Love came later. Agape. Agape love. Let me say that again. You marry for duty. Duty. A wife marries for a duty to her man, her husband. And a, mar a man marries for duty to his wife. That's what the vows are for. Those aren't suggestions. How many of you Christian women have walked away from your functioning marriage because you weren't happy? You had a little hiccup or a bump in the road. Uh, for better, for worse, for sick or for poor and riches and health. Well, he lost his job last year and money. Ain't, I can do, I can get child support and get. Mm, mm. Duty. Talk to him, Kev. But you can't, can't talk about duty because that requires you to be selfless. It requires you to hold yourself to a higher standard than the rest of the world that's fallen. That's what we're supposed to be. The church is supposed to be the light. Yet the marital rate, the divorce rate in the church is higher than in the world. How the hell does that happen? Well, I'm going to be real with y'all. He ain't the first sales rep at Men's Warehouse that I've seen get a promotion. And now he feel like he got the keys to life. He ain't going to be the last. You got to be specific on the boat you're waiting for. You got to wait. You got to wait. You got to wait because it got to be right. See, that means that's this whole get the bag, level up. Everybody got to be perfect. I got to wait till I'm perfect and open the floodgates because if you rush it, you might get divorced. I challenge all of you Christian women, feminists who think that way. Black women file eight out of 10 divorces. Black men are not leaving their black wives. Black wives are leaving their black husbands. Even if 50% of the divorces that are filed are for the worst parts of the Bible, abuse, uh, physical abuse, uh, emotional abuse, lying, cheating, adultery, all, I mean, just horrible stuff. Uh, unrepentant addiction and da, 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 da. Just make it a dangerous person to be around. Even if half, that means four out of 10 are marriages that should still be working. But why are so many women walking away from their husbands? You ask them what happened and it's irreconcilable differences, i.e. I wasn't happy, i.e. I was looking for something better. Is it that bad? Mm. I deserve more. Cause I gotta get a man. Sitting around talking about they're ready to leave their husbands to level up. And then I've, ta I've talked to three women on this show who they called in talking about leveling up and they and basically talking like their husbands wasn't crap and then turned out that their husbands were saints to be with them. You don't need a man. And what did I do? Counsel them to stay with your husband. You better go be, thank God you got this man. You got to be careful who you listen to. But you women are worried about rushing into a marriage too soon because you're under divorcing. How about this? Stop filing divorce. How do, you, how do you sit up there and listen to somebody insult you? Mm. How can you be the least married group on the planet and, and, and file the most divorces? Confessing it, some have swerved from the faith. And he said, grace be with you. Ask a lot of these Christian feminists, especially the ones who were divorced, who filed. Guarantee you almost, uh, I will tell you almost 100% of the time, they are the ones leaving. That's but okay. No Christian women filing for a divorce from their Christian husbands. You hear black women that color purple did more to fuck up the black community than anything else. You don't need a man to do bad by yourself. Pander alert. Cause the story goes around that in marriages like that, there was all this abuse going on. I'm sorry. That's just not the truth. Black men have never been mister. Uh, life as I know it is coming to an end. Alice Walker. Ugh, that woman. That story has done more to damage black male-female relationships. 
because we associate marrying young or marrying for a long time as bondage. So they tell a woman like you, girl, go out and get your job, get your career, whatever. You don't need no man because if you do, he going to keep you barefoot and pregnant. And when you ain't got no money and no job, next comes the beatings. You don't need a man to do bad by yourself. Tell me I'm lying. I, I agree with you. So. So I understand. I, I get exactly what you're saying. I think the message that, I mean, I guess I have is that I think the interesting part to me is something that I find to be common with black women is it's always, I achieved this goal. I went to school. I got this degree. I achieved this success. Mm -hmm. It's never attributed to God, right? Right. But when it comes time for relationship advice, God will send me. Get out of there, Micaiah. Get out of there. <laughs> Get out of there. They're going to hate you. <laughs> All right, uh, that's what I wanted to bring to you guys here today. Uh, I think off of the strength of the ironies, right? And that's the thing. I, when I create these, it's almost like an Easter head egg hunt of things that you can figure out and have a discussion on. Guys, as you figure things out in the way that it was put together, leave it down in the comment box down below. Make sure that you put your timestamp on it so that we all know what it is that you're talking about. But case in point, I, I find it... Uh, very e ironic that all of the folks that were just brought up, one from deep within religion and then two that had some issues occur and then now have convert over to that side. And in essence, they all have had something to say in regards to KS. But I think if you look at the way that Kevin is questioning the state of the union today as it refers to the black church and the obvious departure of men that are fed up with what they are seeing, having no power. And then that lack of power then gets translated into the relationships back at home. So when you look at this, you got to ask yourself, is he really the antichrist that they purport him to be? Or is he someone else coming in to cast doubt, to challenge, to criticize? Something that needs to be improved. All right. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, let me know. Let me see them Easter eggs down below. I want to see them with some timestamps. And do you agree or disagree with the different positions that you find? Let me know because I think we need to file up in a dialogue in the comment box. All right. Until next time, YouTube.